Hello everyone and welcome to Developer 3.5 Pro YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the character controller component to move this capsule using the arrow keys. And also we are going to add the jump force so we'll be able to jump using the space bar button. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, I've already created a new project then I added a simple plane and a cube with two different materials as you can see them right now now let's start by creating the capsule in the hierarchy right click 3d object and let's choose a capsule and this is going to be our player let's reset the transform then in the scene view as you can see we need to move the player so I'm gonna move it along the z-axis and along the y-axis so that we can see it on the top of the ground then I'm gonna rename this to player and let's create a new material for it in the assets folder right click create material and let's rename this to player then I'm gonna change the color to a purple one you can choose any color you want then let's assign this material to this capsule so we are going to move the player using the character controller component that's why we need to add a new component so select your player and under here let's add a new component and the component is called character controller now we need to create a c-sharp script that is going to use this character controller but before that let's remove the capsule collider that's because the character controller has its own collider as you can see it over here we have uh, these grain edges now I'm gonna create a new C sharp script that is going to control this capsule using right click create C sharp script and let's rename this to player controller then double click it to open it up in Visual Studio first we need a reference for the character controller that we've just added to the capsule so let's create a variable private and it's going to be of type character controller and let's call this controller then we need to assign this so in the start method we can use the method get component so this is going to get the component of the object that the script is attached to which is going to be our capsule so let's go back into unity and attach the script to the player so let's drag in this script to our player and as you can see it's over here now this is going to set the character controller component and also we need a direction so let's create another private variable and it's going to be a vector 3 and let's rename this to direction now in the update method we are going to uh, move this uh, character using controller dot move so this is going to move the uh, capsule using this direction and let's multiply this by time to do the time but for now the direction is uh, set it to uh, vector 3.0 so we need to move the player left and right forward and backward as you can see here we are going to move the player along the x-axis using the horizontal input which are the left and right arrow keys and we are going to move it along the z-axis using the vertical input and to do that let's go back to the C sharp script and over here let's initialize two variables float and let's rename this horizontal input and we are going to use input dot get axis and the x is called horizontal so this is going to be minus one if we are holding the uh, left arrow and one if we are holding the right one the same thing for the vertical input and let's set this to input dot get access vertical now we are going to use these inputs so let's change the direction dot x to the horizontal input and the direction dot z equals the vertical input 
but also we need to add a speed variable so let's go back over here and let's declare a new variable and it's going to be public float and let's rename it to speed and I'm gonna set it to 11 by default or 10 then over here let's multiply the horizontal input by the speed and the same thing for the vertical input so let's save this now our player will be able to move left and right forward and backward using these inputs hit this run button as you can see I can go right and left forward and backward using the arrow keys and these are called the horizontal and the vertical inputs now we are going to add the jumping so we'll be able to jump and to do that let's go back over here and under the update method we are going to check if we press the jump button which is the space bar using if input dot get button down and the button is called jump so if we hit the space bar button we are going to jump and to do that we are going to change the direction dot y value to a jump force using direction dot y equals 10 for example or 11 12 sorry or we can create a new parameter over here so let's make public float and let's call this jump force and let's set it to 10 by default or 11 then over here we are going to change the direction dot y value to the jump force now let's save this and go back into unity hit this run button again you see I can move and when I hit the space bar button as you can see the player is flying that's because we, de we need to add the gravity so to do that let's start by creating a new variable under here let's make public float and let's call this gravity and let's set its value to minus 20 by default then over here we are going to add the gravity to the direction dot y value using direction dot y plus equals the gravity multiplied by time dot delta time now if we save this and try it again I can jump and we have the gravity as you can see right now but as you can see I can make many jumps so as you can see when I hit the space bar in the air I can make multiple jumps it's like the flappy bird game so that's because we need to check if the player is on the ground in this case we need to uh, be able to jump otherwise we can't do that so to do that I'm gonna create an empty game object under the feet of the player to check if he's touching uh, ground to do that let's select the, play the player right click create empty and let's rename this to ground check this is just a simple empty game object and I'm gonna move it a little bit over here under the feet of the capsule so we are going to use physics.checksphere this is going to create a simple sphere and it's going to uh, check if we are touching the ground so to do that let's go back over here and let's add a reference to the ground check using public transform ground check and also we need a layer so public layer mask and let's call this ground layer this is going to hold all what is going to be supposed as a ground and over here let's declare a new boolean variable is grounded we are going to use physics.checksphere using physics.checksphere and we are going to put the center of the sphere we are going to use the ground check position using ground check dot position then we need to set the radius for example 0 0.3 and finally we have the layer and we are going to use the ground layer basically this is going to return true 
if uh, the player is touching the ground so physics dot check sphere is going to create a sphere at the position ground check dot position with a radius 0 0.3 and if it's touching a collider with a ground layer then is that's going to return true otherwise it's going to return false so we are going to use that so let's cut this and instead we are going to check if we are on the ground using if is grounded so if the player is on the ground in this case we will be able to jump when we hit the space bar now let's save this and go back into unity let's select the player and over here let's drag in the ground check empty game object and over here we need to check uh, to uh, set the uh, ground layer so basically we have the plane and the cube we can suppose these as ground to do that we are going to add new layers using add layers or layer and over here let's add one ground and another cube then let's assign the new layers to the plane so let's assign the plane layer or the ground layer to the plane and the cube layer to our cube now let's select the player and under here let's assign the ground and the cube layers to the ground layer variable now let's hit this play button again as you can see I can move and also I can jump but we can't make multiple jumps so we can make just one when we are on the ground but we have just one problem as you can see the player is uh, is falling so fast so as you can see that's because we are adding the gravity in the update method so when we go to the debug mode you see over here that the direction dot y is increasing all the time that's why we are falling so fast as you can see right now to fix that we need to make sure that we add the gravity when the player is on the uh, is not on the ground so if the player is grounded we are going to set the direction dot y to zero using direction dot y equals zero otherwise if the player is not on the ground we are going to add the gravity to the direction dot y value so let's cut this and paste it over here and the problem is going to be fixed now let's save this and hit this play button again you see now that I can move and also I can jump and we have a little bit of smoothness when the player is falling down so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it if you have any question or comment feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and uh, have a great day